and gentlemen we are today friday june 5th 2015 and thank you so much for the people who are watching this video and thank you so much for the people who have subscribed to my channel so today the particular topic discussion that i have for you is going to be in regards to vacation in haiti so one of the topics will be in will be titled vacation in haiti yay or nay meaning is it worth it what are you getting when you come in here for vacation um and you know what's the fun what are you gonna have to do so we'll evaluate vacation in haiti i'll give you my impression about that and um i also wanted to make a video about cultural differences i've been thinking about that a lot but we are going to begin with um write it down and make it happen two nights ago my i was getting some sinus problem i get them all the time i'm a very allergic person so i started sneezing and then i was like i wouldn't stop so i said okay i need my medicine by now so i'm looking for this medicine because i know i had it and i'm like looking for it i have a travel bag and i keep it inside of my closet and that's where i tend to put all of my medication so i'm looking for my um sinus medicine and i can't get it so i as you know how it is when you're looking for something because it's something that i had just brought so i knew that i had it so i felt like i was like where's the thing on medicine so i so i started to remove everything from my bag and um so i was like okay because you know it's just like this one pack it's a it's this one pack that has 10 pills in it so um it could have slid inside of my books slide inside of my notebook so i started to you know open the books try to make sure that it it, did, it wasn't anywhere and then i came across this little um notebook which is my journal and then I was sitting down and I said, let me open my journal. And mind you, this journal, I started to write in it. Just so you know, let me show you. I started to write in it on November 18, 2009. So I started to read it and guys, I was so shocked. See, this is my journal from exactly my transition so basically the videos that i made for you but you know writing is always more detailed so with all of my feelings everything the way i was feeling from that moment on my thought process and i was so shocked you know why i was shocked i was shocked because reading back from 09 i was 26 about everything that I said that I wanted to do. And I'm looking at myself now in 2015, five years later, and I have accomplished them. Everything that I wrote down that I wanted to do, everything that I said about myself, like my desire, this craving and this crazy desire that I had of coming to Haiti. You know, I remember these things, but reading back, it, it was just like a shock. It was a shock for me because it's one thing to remember the way you were feeling and how you wanted to do certain things, but it's another thing to go back into time and actually have documented all of your feelings and all of your thought process and seeing how you have accomplish what you said that you wanted to do so this is one of the reason why i want you to write start writing if this is start writing for the summer you know buy yourself a journal you come on buy yourself a notebook and write and you know ever since i read this because of the camera and all of these things i was vlogging more and I had kind of stopped writing. And ever since I read this, so ever since two days ago, I've been writing. And I said to myself, I have to continue. I have to keep writing because what it just, it did some, it just clicked. It did something for me. To see all of the emotions that I had in 09 and to look at myself now, even my transition with friends 
some of the problems, well, not problems, but some of the challenges or the obstacles or the fact that I felt like I was not happy with the friends that I had. It was all the task. I was getting prepared for that moment here, what I'm doing here in Haiti. And even now, I feel like this is not it. I know that I have other things to do. I have other purpose. Oh my God, there goes a truck again. I'm sorry. Okay. I have other purpose. I have other things to do. And I've been feeling a particular way. And because I've been feeling that way, I'm happy that I'm going back and I'm happy that I'm writing again. Because I know that a couple of years down the road, I will look back into my writing and maybe four years, three years, two years down the road and say to myself, oh my God, I had written these things down a couple of years ago and they are coming into fruition. They are coming into, you know, realization. So I felt that I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to tell you guys that please write everything down. You know, if you have something here, you have to put it on paper. Unless you put it on paper, you are not going to make it. It's not going to get realized. You know what, matter of fact, maybe I should share with you a little bit my journey and how I founded the agency. Maybe that will be inspiring. Maybe. I should think about doing that. So anyways, I don't wanna you know, keep this short message, but I really, really wanted to um, show you that truthfully, visualize, 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 oh my God. When you visualize something and when you write it down, it, it's gonna happen, believe that believe that all right so that's my message for you for the day stay tuned for my next topic bye